Tracking us now. Sir, I can engage the emergency lock before we get to the sun. We'll go exterior. Our boost tricks will give us an edge. Ambush the ambush. Once we're clear, we can move the elevator up. Affirmative. Salt, Chief, you with me. Brooks, Ethan, we don't make it. You head up there and kick all the ass you can find. Ethan can fly that ship. Solid copy, Commander. Plan is to rally at the top. Get her done, sir. Hold it here, Ethan. Roger. Hang on. On you, Reyes. Oh, that was a bit too close. <laughs> I didn't think they would be coming that close to me. This upper size. Just allow me to kill my teammates in the process. open. I'm bouncing around over the place. Whoa, that transition is cool. They're deploying every bot they have. Means our forces are putting up a fight down there. Let's see if we can help them out and disable these launches. I was just about to say, can we just deactivate them? Salt, you got one of those charges? Here you go. Doors opening. <laughs> oh, fuck. So we keep going. The others are still counting on us. You're right. Let's go stop that ambush. God damn it. No. Oof. These are cool. Clear. 
There you go, that was successful. Let's get the others up here and get to that ship. Raj. Ready to load off, Captain. Thanks, sir. Where's the chief? She didn't make it. We gotta go. Clear! All clear. Which ship is it, Ethan? Right there. That's a destroyer. It's got a full payload. Can we use it? To fight our way out? No. To level this place. The ship won't fire, Captain. The weapon system is not enabled. Forget the weapons. Let's release the moorings, key in a drop, and go. Boats. How can we enable the payload? Firing control, sir. Where's firing control? Command center, ma'am. It's a shuttle ride. That way. Who's gonna do that? Me. You'll never make it back to the ship. If we wait, they'll fire on us. You're not gonna wait. Captain. How will you get home? No one's going home. You board that ship and you terminate this place all. Do as much damage as you can before SDF takes you out. I can do both. I can hit the shipyard and drop out of here. You won't have time. Watch me. You got the green light to do whatever it takes. Just finish the mission. Everybody good with this? You don't need a crew to launch. We'll have to fight our way on. Shuttle. Brooks, take him out. Ethan, with me. No, ma'am. Captain's gonna need my help to get to the command center. Damn you both. <laughs> Did you know we were gonna finish this here? No. I think Mac did. Well, I guess I'll see you both in hell. Count on it. Okay, gentlemen, let's move out! Fair winds. Affirmative, Ethan. I'm into their network. Got eyes on you now. What about enemy positions? Got eyes on those two, sir. <laughs> this is suicide, Reyes. I gave my order, Salt. The captain doesn't always bring his men home. Not always. I agree with him. We're in enemy territory. We might as well, like, do as much shot, damage sir. as we can. Looks to be clear. Check. Junction room. Should be full of stock. You can swipe. Last call, huh? Incredibly, sir. I'm gonna take the shocks. That's useful. Hacking devices. Gonna take some of those. All set. Where to? All the way to the floor. Guns close. Copy. I'm glad I picked up this weapon. Really close quarters. Approaching the destroyer. I need weapons and moorings unlocked. One without the other is a no-go. Raj, be advised. Hostile airships are moving to your sector. Eyes on. Out. Just hit my mic on mistake. Captain, you got company on the exit.
Oh Christ, I was doing so well and now that thing just lit me up. Got no cover. I'll take care of that. This is gonna get difficult. I think I have an idea. Got him. Woo! Can't say I'm a big fan of those robots. For frags. No, I like the sharks. I would, t I would take the frags, but I like the. Uh... Moving as fast as I can. Hold them off. Oh shit. That's awkward. That's awkward. Later, bitch. Thanks, partner. In spite of the situation, I'm enjoying myself, sir. Me too. <laughs> oh, this is a nice big open area. Yep, that's what I was just thinking. You're, I know you're from the Discord, but you're definitely new to the channel, I'm pretty sure. So. Welcome, welcome. You should be going right our munitions depot, sir. Affirmative. Quite an arsenal. Lieutenant, enemy forward! Reyes, we're taking casualties here! Running out of time! Ethan, hostile forces are aboard the lieutenant's destroyer. Sir, firing control entry is dead ahead. Be advised, room is occupied with armed personnel. Roger that. Oh, this area is shit. I could have used one of those robots. Shit. Is 
someone just yelled grenade. Take your frag back, I don't want it. Going then. I'm at the terminal, Ethan. You release the moorings, I'll activate firing control. Sir, said they have shut down the switches on the lock. I can blow the relays from here and release the moorings manually, but I'll need your help. I'll come back. No time. Car interference may disable my processor. Hack into my system and you can keep me moving. Use the hacking module. I got line of sight to your location, sir. Okay. I'm in. Pretty strange. It's very unusual, sir. What do we do? Distribution room. Down the steps, Captain. We'll pull the fuses, overload the circuits, melt the relays on the ship lock. Ethan, why do you need me for this? Core is electromagnetic. Shock may disable my processor. I'll need your help to stay mobile. Get me inside the distribution room and we can overload it in time. My chassis can sustain temps well above this, sir. Keep moving. Call room is just up ahead. Ethan, fair winds.
Oh, god damn. Damn. Woo. Oh, what is this? To my dearest wife, Sarah, my son, Noah, and my daughter. If you're reading this, I can tell you with the utmost confidence that I'd die for something right and just. The cost of war is higher than any one life. And I happily give mine in defense of my men and family. Abby, I'm sorry I didn't keep my promise when I said I was coming home. My hopes for your future gave me the strength to protect everything we hold dear. You will always be daddy's little girl. Noah, be an honest man. Keep your word. Only use violence as a last resort. You're the man of the house now. Sarah, please keep our baby safe. And find it in your heart to forgive me for leaving you alone. If my last breath is not in the battlefield, then surely it will be in your arms. Keep me in your hearts. Always. Whoa, what? Sir, we're behind enemy lines now in the heat of battle. Time is short. You've given an order from which there is likely no return. You did what had to be done. All in. I'm proud of you. You're a born leader, sir. Today was one of the worst days in history. And uh, forgive me for saying it, but it was the greatest day of my life. I did everything I was trained for and more. Together, we fought the good fight. Over Titan, you said we were brothers. I always wanted to know what a family really is. Now I do. Admiral Reigns told me that a soldier is only as good as his last mission. If this is ours, then I can say with certainty, we were damn good, sir. Better to burn out than it is to rust. Metal one, out. Hey, Mom. Dad. When I joined the Marines, I told you that I'm ready to give my life for fighting for a good cause. If I don't come home for any reason, then that's what happened. I hope I died doing something heroic. And in the long run, I hope that I made you proud. I promised myself I wouldn't get close to people here, but it's kind of impossible not to. I wasn't scared here, but I was homesick. Mom, I had a dream last night that you were making dinner. Yes, my favorite pork chops. And we were all at the table together. Tell Aunt Joyce I said hi and I love her. And give Bailey a big kiss and a new tennis ball from me. Everyone here has a mother and father. But you and Dad only have one son. So I'm sorry I didn't make it back. Simplify. 
your loving son, Todd. Yeah, wow, wow is the right right word for it. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a Call of Duty do this before. This is, totally fuck this hits. Marta, the Navy has made my life a long distance love affair. The things I love are all far away. My home, my animals, you. I am doing important work. I'm ready for anything, even this. The military did not take my life. I volunteered it. I know this isn't easy. Please don't cry for me or us. Cry for a world that couldn't make peace. I think of you and my heart races. I smile, I laugh out loud, and people tell me I always seem so happy. I am. I have you. Yours forever, Yetide. My dearest children. Well, as this letter will only be used in the event of my death, it may seem somewhat sorrowful, but I don't want you to see it that way, okay? I have always felt that our stay on Earth, the time we call life, <laughs> it's a temporary gift to be spent in service of something greater than ourselves. Death comes to us all. It is not to be feared. I loved my job, but I hated war. But the secret mission I undertook every single day was to protect the two of you from anyone or anything that threatened your health and well-being. So promise me, you will take care of one another and please live your lives to the fullest with all the love in my heart. Mum. Sir, I'm not quite sure how a son greets his father after not seeing him for a lifetime. I guess I say hi, Dad. Finally tracked down your address through the Human Resource Department in Washington. I had to use my birth certificate to prove we were related. I want you to know I followed in your footsteps. I joined the Navy, thought it would make you proud we ever saw each other, we'd have more to talk about. I went to sniper school to be a sharpshooter, but my vision changed. I became an instructor. I'm currently deployed aboard the UNSA Carrier Retribution. My mom Sandy passed away this year. I went back to the old house just before shipping out and found a box with your silver star for valor. My mom kept it all this time. I wish I'd known you still lived in Tennessee. I would have dropped by. Could have had a beer and caught up. I forgive you for leaving. I hope you're not mad at me for writing. Thanks for helping bring me into this world. I did my best to be a good man. Maynard Griffin. For my dear wife Olivia and my daughter Nisreen. If you are reading this, I guess I didn't make it home. I was prepared to face danger and death. I hope I did so with dignity. My time was cut short, but I had countless blessings. I married the perfect woman. I have a brand new daughter on the way. I'd be selfish to ask for more. I love you, Olivia. Welcome our baby into this world and cherish her for me. Remind her about her daddy. And please, never be afraid to do what you need to find happiness. Nisreen, hello, sweetheart. I left for this tour before you were born. I'm sorry I won't be able to see you grow up. Daddy wanted to make the world a better place. That's why we made you. Keep me in your prayers and try to do one good deed every day. 
Be safe, my family. Victor. Honestly, though, I'm trying to keep it together as well. I've never, I've never seen this ever being done. This is incredible. Dear Andrew, it's Fleet Week. More ships are dry docked against the dawn sky. I'm home, but it's not home without you. I know I had what every woman envied, a husband that gave life more meaning. You were my handsome better half. Since the day we locked eyes, I thought of you constantly. I still do. The internal drive that earned me my rank cost me a marriage. The Navy imbued me to accomplish the mission and never quit. To that end, I'll never stop loving you, no matter where or when. I go. Thank you. Being together was a gift. With love always, Laura. Wow. I was I was not prepared for any of that. I never could have ever imagined they would do something like that. Wow. They wow we wow. <laughs> Dang that that build up though like we really we really gave it our best. And everybody knew that as well. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I've changed my viewpoint on on this campaign. Like, I'm I will admit I may have been one of those haters when it was announced, but I feel like this is the only redeeming part. I would honestly put this up with, with Modern Warfare, if not, maybe above it, actually. Like... Sh holy, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. That was amazing, that was incredible, it was phenomenal. There's so many words I could use, but I'm just... Oh, wow. If, any, if anybody at Infinity Ward watches this somewhere like in the future or something like that, I just want to say that I have a big thumbs up to you guys. To you guys and gals. Holy, that was an incredible campaign. Like, especially what I just went through right now. Just hearing the audio logs. Like... Wow, that's just an added bonus. Because I've never ever seen, like, a company, especially like Call of Duty, just do that. Four survivors. God damn, man. Honestly, when Ray Ray was like bouncing like across like the hall of the ship. Like the music that was stuff was playing and like how that was so cinematic. It looked so good. Man. <laughs> Is this Earth we're coming to now? Because I noticed that we were zooming over Mars, which was the SDF homeworld, is now we're going to UNSA homeworld? Earth? I think I'm just going to let the credits play. <laughs> maybe there's something at the end, maybe there's not. Actually, I think there might be. Who knows, let's see. I do appreciate everybody that stopped by today, that's checked out the stream. May not be one of my longer ones, but I hope this will be a memorable one. Because goddamn, that was, that was amazing.
Like, that, that last mission had me motivated and everything. We knew what was at stake. Had to give it our all. 110%. Just send it. I mean, it really sad though, like, just... As I said earlier, when, when Gator got just torn... Like I said, I, I wish, you know... If only I was playing a phase cam, just... Because my jaw dropped. I will promise you that. My jaw dropped. I was just not expecting him to do that. And then the part where the robot drop ship, that I was not expecting that robot to grab me. That scared me. Oh, music stopped. You know, these credits make me realize how much time people put in this game, how much like effort they do. All these people contributed to such a big project. After experiencing this ending and this entire campaign, I feel like I feel like people are just being a bit too harsh. I know I was, and I change, I take that back. Because this is like, because okay, let's let's have a discussion. Yes, Modern Warfare and the Black Ops series, they're beloved series. We all know that, right? It's. I don't, and the Cold War campaign, and I did watch it. There won't there won't be a campaign playthrough for me because I'm not gonna fake it. I don't like doing that. There's a lot of people that do that where they play a campaign and they play it again and then they fake their reactions. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy I am right now, experiencing everything for the first hand. That's what I want to be. And although the Cold War campaign was intriguing while I watched it, I wish they would have done something a bit new with it, which they did. But it's just, I, I guess I should get to the point. The message I'm trying to bring up is that instead of like new modern warfares and new black ops and all that, we should do more stuff like this, like infinite warfare, kind of be different. But the main problem is, is that the COD community, which I will say is an absolute shitty community, they don't accept new things because they want everything to be modern warfare 2 or, you know, black ops 2 or whatever. They want everything to be just like that. And it's just, and anything else that's an outsider, they just, they just shit on it. Ghost is a perfect example of that. Like, I, I am part of that really small percent that loved Ghosts. And I want to see a continuation of that game. Will it happen, though? I would love for it to happen. But the thing is, is that Activision and Infinity War knows that if they name a game Ghost 2, it's going to get slammed before people even have a chance to play it. That's just that's just my take on it. <laughs> that's just my take on it. But like man, this was <laughs> I would love to see more campaigns like this where it's just unique, right? The one thing I will praise this game for is its character development and story development. Because the story development and the character development were a solid 10 out of 10. I, I just, I, I love the, hold on, no. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you for interesting our game. GG Infinity Ward, love it.